This video is sponsored in part by TheUnlockingCompany.com. Unlock just about any phone so you can use it with any carrier on TheUnlockingCompany.com. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, follow us on social media at H2 Tech Videos, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, in the description below, check out our Samsung Galaxy S20 must-have accessory store for some really awesome accessories for your phone. Today, we're gonna to show you how to use split screen or basically run two apps at one time on the Samsung Galaxy S20. So to do this is gonna be really simple. Obviously figure out what two apps you want to run. So in this example, I'm gonna run YouTube. I'm gonna have a YouTube video playing. And then I'm also gonna have Google Chrome open at the bottom. So first thing you wanna do is the whatever app you want to be at the top of the screen, open that app first, which is gonna be YouTube. So I'm gonna go here, open YouTube. I'm gonna then go home and then find the second app that I want to run, which is Google Chrome and open that app right there. Now I'm gonna go home. Now we're gonna hit our recent apps button on the bottom here. And the app you want to be at the top, once again, go to that one, YouTube. Tap on the little icon at the top here and tap on open and split screen view. And that will bring it to the top of the screen and then we're gonna swipe over to the second app we want to be at the bottom, which is Google Chrome. Tap that, now we have two apps on the screen. Now I can come up here, you can tap this video and let it play. And then I'm gonna tap the screen and tap the little uh, square in the corner here and I can have it go into full screen. And then while that plays, I can then navigate Google Chrome at the bottom of the screen here. So I can navigate, I can check the news whatever, and that video is gonna play at the top of the screen. And then you can um, even adjust it further. See, in the middle of the screen, there's a little dash. Take your finger and drag that up. You can have the video shrink, and it'll give you a little bit more room to work at the bottom. So now I can do whatever I want here in Chrome, be fully active while that video is playing. Obviously, I have the volume turned down, but you can have the volume up. And this is a really easy way to multitask. Now, um, I can tap this icon at the bottom here, and maybe I don't want to use Chrome anymore. Maybe I want to open a different app now. Maybe I want to go to the settings, for example. I can now access my settings menu and make any modifications or adjustments I want, and my video is going to continue to play at the top. Now, if the app you, maybe there's another app you want to switch to and it's not currently open, you can just go home. It'll hold your top app at the top here, and now I can go to messages, and now I can send a text message if I want and still have access to my keyboard and all that while my video is playing at the top. When you're all done with your split screen and you wanna go back to having one app on the screen, take your hand and put it right in that center area and just drag all the way down and that will take you out of split screen and take you back to the normal um, just mode with one app open. So that's the main way to do split screen. I'm gonna show you one more option here because there's a couple of ways to do this and especially when it comes to video and uh, some of the other apps on the phone, there's a little bit more you can do with multitasking. So stay with me here. So um, that YouTube video, let's go back to that real quickly. So that app doesn't necessarily have to be open in a split screen function. That's one option, but another option is this. So I'm gonna play that video. Now this is sort of exclusive to YouTube, but if I hit the home button while the video is playing, it's gonna keep the video open and I can then drag that to any one of the four corners of the screen. So I can have it up here, here, down here or down here. And that video can continue to play while I do other things. Now, sometimes I like to use split screen in this mode because um, there's some videos that you're more so listening to, you're not watching as closely. And in this case, I get to still listen and kind of follow along, but still use my full screen to do other things. And I can simply just tap on the screen and hit this little button right here if I want to go back to full screen. So it's really easy to get to that. Now, what you can also do is hit your uh, recent apps button here. Actually, well, pause the video first. If you don't pause it, then it'll keep taking you there. Pause the video first, hit this little recent apps button here, go back to YouTube, tap on the icon at the top again. Now, instead of hitting split screen view, you can change it to 
uh, pop-up view. Now this is another cool option because it will allow you to fully shrink this, but keep your access to it on the screen. So um, there's four options here. This second option here actually keeps YouTube open as a pop-up. So again, I continue to use my phone. Maybe you don't even want to see the video, but with YouTube, you know, it has to stay open unless you have the premium subscription or it won't play the audio. So with this way, YouTube is still open. I can tap it whenever I want to open it full and I can just tap that to go back and shrink it. Or I can hit the third option to open it full or the fourth one to close it all together. Now this works for more apps than just YouTube. This will also work with, uh, for example, if you have an active text message that's going on, hit that recent apps, go back over, tap the icon and go to open and pop up view. Same thing, I can have that open in the small view. And again, I can shrink it down and I can have that bubble stay there. So while I'm doing other things, I can easily get back to it and quickly continue that conversation. So that's just another way to use multitasking. So in the video, I kind of went over a split screen and also went over just some general multitasking best practices. So do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if the video was helpful for you. Make sure you also check out our S20 accessory store in the description below. You'll find some really awesome accessories to go with your phone. I'll also leave a link to this really beautiful and very simplistic clear case that I'm using right now. I think you guys will enjoy this. I'm definitely uh, enjoying the uh, simplicity of it and the durability. Hit that subscribe button if it was helpful and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.